Hey there! Today's video is very special for me because we'll be talking about my favorite book ever. The book is called Ring and the author's name is Koji Suzuki. For those of you who haven't read the book yet or don't know that the Japanese horror movie The Ring and its other parts as well as the American remakes were based on the books that the books have practically nothing in common with the screen adaptations. And so if you saw any of these screen adaptations or maybe all of them even, don't be afraid, just jump in, dive in, you won't get bored, I promise. As we touch upon the subject of the other parts of the world of the ring, it took me a while to decide to start reading them because I didn't want to spoil my great first impression after the first part. However, they didn't disappoint me. Um, the second part is called Spiral and in addition to its thriller and detective component, it also is related to biology um, and why not to combine something useful with leisure and to repeat the nucleotide table, for example. <laughs> the third part is called Loop and it's about the virtual world and virtual reality. The fourth part is called Birthday and it consists of three stories. Each of these stories is the logical and final explanation of the three previous stories, three previous parts. And my favorite part is the first one, as you have already understood, I think. <laughs> um, this is not a story about the girl who was crawling out of the TV set and it's not a horror story either to begin with. In my opinion, it is primarily a psychological novel about true friendship and the search for truth and justice. While reading this book, I was deeply and endlessly sympathizing and empathizing to the so-called evil in the story because this so-called evil was just the victim of the circumstances and accidents. As for the grim of the book, I believe that the author didn't have any intention to scare his readers. He just was playing with the reader's imagination. And this made me think of the following. Very often we just distort reality and drive ourselves into a state of panic when everything is just okay. And on the other hand, sometimes we just prefer to calm ourselves down and be careless and carefree, even though we may face a real threat. All of the main characters in this book are really believable. They did not annoy me with their silliness and they didn't stray me with this, you know, phony heroism either. When they were in trouble or when they were trapped, they just tried to act and to look for the solutions. Um, the main character of the book is the journalist, whose name is Asakawa. But of course, he wouldn't have made it through this terrible, crazy labyrinth without the help of his loyal and brave friends, and especially one bosom friend of his. A little intrigue. Don't jump to conclusions about one of the main characters. By the end of the book, you will learn something about this person that will turn your perception upside down. I think it's really cool to read this book in autumn. It's November. So I strongly recommend you to hurry. <laughs> I'm kidding. Even if you read it on a sunny summer day, it won't ruin this 
gloomy atmosphere and its special haze. Speaking about the other works um, written by Kalji Suzuki, um, I really like one of his short story collections that is called Dark Water. Each of the stories in this collection um, has an abrupt and open ending and I really like this move made by the author. It left me space for overthinking and was a little bit intriguing and misleading, so that was cool. And speaking about the standalone um, novel of his, Promenade of the Gods, well, it was totally not my cup of tea. But it doesn't matter, <laughs> because today's uh, topic is ring and yeah, so let's talk about this book instead. Um, let me know, have you seen any of the screen adaptations or maybe you have read the book too? Uh, personally, I think that the book is way better than the film. Um, maybe you agree, or maybe not. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I will be more than happy to read all your thoughts and ideas. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.